all different cities compared to where we usually see. The Accra, Kigala, Doha, Freetown. Casablanca. I, London is there. But I don't see. Nigeria. Right. We are at the new airport. Looks really nice. And also, being in Nigeria, flying to South Africa to Johannesburg is showing us a little bit of a problem. Yep, we're trying to figure out how to leave <laughs> because we don't have yellow fever cards and we're at the airport and now we need to prove somehow. Um, let's, let's go and find somebody that will tell us what we need to do. That's what we need to do. Find somebody. Let's go back to that, that desk where, where we're speaking to them and try and say, listen, tell us what we need to do. That's what we <laughs> I don't know. And our oh. flight leaves at 10.20. Yeah. So let's go, let's go. Yes. Alright, so as you can see, gates. This is the new airport. Amazing new airport. Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. And Kings. Yeah. How did we cross over? Security and in immigration, everything. <laughs> We searched our bags um, very thoroughly and we found two um, yellow fever cards. That's what happened. That's as, as far as I can say. Yes, we, we found them. We found them. In, yeah. the, in the bottom of the bags. Yeah, who knew? Who knew who it was knew there? Who knew it was there? Knew. I can't say any more than that. Niger way. <laughs> empty terminal is so we are going we are heading to ah, the plane because Kingsley can't apparently take the bus due to South Africa's airline policies so the airplane also <laughs> ended up being somewhere else instead of the gate it should be I'm just curious to know how the heck we're going to get down to the plane. I can almost do the happy dance. Almost. Johanneberg, here we come. Look, look, look. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Good. No, that one, that chair doesn't need. Okay, need. So you have your yes. 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 Only thing he needs help with is just his backpack. Okay, backpack into his seat.
Yeah, she was so funny enough. Really? Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah, yeah. I, my anxiety. I don't even <laughs> have anxiety. I just felt like my anxiety level was... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold this. So there's, there's um, lots of ad hoc stuff going on. A lot of people um, just doing what they want. Literally just doing what they want. So we had to move from the gate that we were changed to to come to another gate and they basically said is the rules if um, if you're in a wheelchair you automatically have to be taken to a different gate so this is the old airport which funny enough is more accessible than yes. the new airport so we've come all the way down here and it's still empty yes it's still all empty. those people hasn't so I'm not sure because the, the other people, the able-bodied people, are waiting for a bus that will bring them to where we just came. So they made somebody on a wheelchair push all the way to a different um, old airport, <laughs> whilst able-bodied people are waiting for the bus that would take them, bring them where we are. So there seems to be a lot of obstacle, a lot of um, reasons why this flight. <laughs> It's not going to leave Nigeria. <laughs> We've had so many. We had a, a flag council on us last week, and um, oh, yes. we're still chasing for refunds, whatever. Yes. And now we have this situation where it's one thing after the other, literally one thing after All the right, other. All right. So we started off with um, we having to book a new flight with our own pocket money because they cancelled on us and we couldn't wait till the 19th because yep. then it would have just delayed everything and it's not just visa as yeah. well and it's not just cancelling right it's that we're trying to go to kenya yes so to go to kenya we had other places to go to as well so we, yeah. we booked multi city so which is really good to go to exactly we booked to go to uh kenya and then from kenya to go to india and from india to all at the same time, we booked all that at the same time, which brings the cost really low. So for the both of us, for all that was one thousand seven hundred. I get pounds. Two people. Now. Two people. All those flights. So one thousand seven hundred. All those flights. Two people. Motor City. Really a good trick. But this problem, the trip that we had to Kenya yeah. was cancelled. So the first leg. Kenya. First leg was cancelled. Was cancelled. So we tried to rebook with the same um, airline and it's called Go to Gate. No, that's the travel agency. Travel agency, yeah. yeah. Complete complete nightmare. Complete nightmare. They basically just says, um, nope, we've cancelled it, we're gonna issue you a refund. And I'm like, you're issuing a refund for the entire leg, so 1700 No, no, we're issuing you a part of the journey. What's the part of the journey you're going to issue us? To Kenya. Okay. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How much are you going to issue us for that leg? We don't know. <laughs> when are you going to issue us the refund? We meaning, don't know. Meaning that they have no idea, no clue of how much our ticket from that first, that leg of that the journey. Leg of the journey. Yeah. So they have to contact the airlines yeah. and then they will have to refund them and then they have to refund us, which will yes. can take up to two years. Yeah, because we, we, we saw that in the... Yeah, we saw that on re uh, In Twitter and, yeah. feeds, people oh. chasing them for refund for two years. So anyway, we, we finally looked at a different flight to, that would take us just to Kenya, right? Just one leg of the journey. Yeah. And for the both of us, it was 1,800. More expensive than the entire journey, multiple cities that we had. 1,800 just for one leg of the journey. All right. So we, yeah. So we've been searching online, searching for different ways to do this. So we ended up just booking because the issue is going from West Africa to East Africa, literally just across, that's it, from Nigeria to Kenya. It's supposed to be so easy. That's not working. Now we have to go to South Africa, stay there for seven days, which is an amazing yes. opportunity because there's so much we can do in South Africa. And after seven days, then we'll go to Kenya and then we can stay in Kenya till the leg of the journey that we already planned. And then from Kenya, hopefully, the, our ticket to India has not been canceled. For some no, other reason. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. So if that's not cancelled, then we're good. Yes. Um, yes. So, so that trip, that multi city to uh, Kenya is actually under a thousand, actually just a thousand one hundred pounds. 
So that's much better than a thousand eight hundred pounds, but it's still annoying. It's still a lot of money. Because it's a lot of money that we didn't plan yes, um, yes. to spend. But this has been. That that doesn't even stop there. No, 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 no. So now we're stuck in Nigeria for a few more days, and they canceled the flight, and my visa oh, was yeah. running out on the same day as they, they canceled the yes, flight. We were yes. supposed to fly out on the same day. They, that your visa is fine. Yes, meaning yes. I had to hand out my passport yes. on a delivery car yes, on a assuming delivery bike. a bike yeah. assuming that it will reach the immigration <laughs> for them to do the work I on the same day on the same day and then the guy didn't answer the phone <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so we're there in Lagos and these passports they're missing for uh, a whole watch, day no, just for a whole day to Sorry. the month to it the following like, Monday no, no, it we gave it to them on a Thursday over the weekend yeah we gave it to them on a Thursday yes. we got it back on Monday yes Yes. And he didn't pick up his phone until like Monday. We got, we got to Sunday he picked up yeah. and then Monday we we, we went to the him. office, we went to the passport. Yes. Um, yes, and he was there, it's fine, yeah. it's fine. But yeah, that was a little bit like yeah. I'm stuck in. Now we yeah. think, okay, great, because everything is sorted, everything is good. King's this UK passport, mine Swedish passport, and then we go to South Africa. Awesome. No, not at all. We get here, we double check. I double checked on several websites. Swedish passport holder do not need South African visa. UK don't need South African visa. We've gone through it so many times. Don't need, don't need, don't need. Perfect. Now, when we get to the desk, <laughs> the air, airport, yeah. the guy there say, where's your yellow fever card? Yeah, so we thought we checked everything, but we didn't think of the yellow fever one. So the yellow fever was a something else. And um, that was <laughs> that was a nightmare actually because oh man we I just I just I just imagined okay this flight is going to be cancelled again so that would be two uh, waiting for refunds yes <laughs> whilst we have to get well, out have to, and I have to extend my visa yeah. again uh, yeah of and course to be honest Nigeria is a beautiful country yeah. lush you know but it has its problems and it has its you can't just I'll go for a stroll it doesn't exist. In some areas. <laughs> some areas, yeah. yeah. Yes, and yeah. so. So security basically caved in. Uh, That's how it felt like. And the then last our driver week. was kidnapped. Yes, our had, driver well, who's well, local. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Who's it a was, local Nigerian? Looks yeah, like a Nigerian. He got kidnapped. Yeah, and he had to pay. We will do. We will share you the video. Yeah, he had to pay that. 15 million to be uh, yes. released. And that's five thousand so, pounds, people. Uh, yeah. 15, 15 pounds. Oh, 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 fifteen pounds. Yeah. Yeah, 15 000. million pounds. Ah, 15 so, so it's just above 15,000 pounds because one um, the exchange rate. Yeah. So anyway, one like anyway, we are 1, as you can see, we are sitting in the airplane, yeah. very happy, and we got yellow fever. We got our yellow fever card. It was very deep, deep, deep down in my backpack. I completely <laughs> forgot about it. But yes, it's here, and Kingsley has this as well. Unfortunately, we cannot disclose how how we got hold of it. Send but a we, comment. We would not. <laughs> we would not send us a comment. We would not be on the flight if we did not find it. Um, yes, let's just say it that hidden. way. But um, yeah, so we finally checked in, went to the, and then we were told that um, there's no bus to take us to the. But yes. now we are in the plane. We are. We are in the plane. Yeah. Plane, plane. We're very happy and actually we have people who were at the gate is now coming. Yeah, so yeah, they're they're right. there. So I we think arrive at 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. We we're have like the leaving. whole day. We sleep very good now. Yeah. Come, yeah, yeah. <sighs> do you have yes or the puff puff? I do. We smuggled some puff puff. <laughs> we smuggled some puff puff. We so didn't smuggle. Is allowed to bring puff puff. I don't know. I don't know these days, you know. Alright, puff puff looks like this. It's donut. It's donut balls. Yeah. And in Brazil, we call them bolinho de chuva, but we also have them in a different. It's the same same way of making them, but we also put some sugar and cinnamon on them. Except it's much better than anything Brazilians have ever made. No. Fantastic. So we're definitely flying. So far. South Africa. Yeah, I'm 
Peace. After, after the whole chaos, I flew, I flew into Nigeria with my Nigerian passport, which expired in 2019. And then. Which also is okay. Everyone with a Nigerian expired passport will can't enter. Fly in. Yeah. can't fly in. It's not a problem. But don't fly into Lagos though, because they yeah. will. They will um, <laughs> Nigeria said they will molest you. <laughs> and it's true, it's true. They Everyone will finish you So. I flew in with my expired passport to Abuja and then I went ahead and changed my name because I've always wanted to change the name of my passport to his, uh, what's my it called? My family's Your family's name uh, yeah. So I, I did, I changed uh, that So And then I ordered a new passport A new Nigerian passport, a new Nigerian passport um, With that new name and everything all done Right? Then flying out I tried to fly with the British passport and then Nigeria immigration like um where is your where in? is that yeah where is your in <laughs> where, uh, I can't see the stamp I don't have like um I flew with the Nigeria like, passport so yes where is it where is the Nigeria passport they have like uh if I show the my Nigeria passport it has my new name now now I need to take the Nigeria passport back to uh, to England so I could change my name on the British passport to match the Nigerian passport because you can't change your name on your British passport first before changing on the your first passport so I've done it that way so but how can I prove it to them because then I have two passports two different names on it. the list similarities Kingsley is there but the, my surname has changed um, so it was just so much hard right if I if I don't play this right they will let me out they will not let me. I could just get to detention room, they will hold me there and I would miss our flight. So I have to give my the expired passport, which still has my, my name and not just my other passport. Yeah. But they knew it, They're, Kings has said like it's under process and I'll have a ship, I'll have a ship to you. I'll have a change, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll have a ship. They're like, oh, it Sorry. takes a long time now. I'm like, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it does, that, it so does take a long time. So there's so many things. So I don't know what next. Well, I hope you've enjoyed Nigeria though. Outside of all this other wahala.